Hi Vipaws lover. It's the Vipaws tutorial here. This video is going to show you the pusher setting of Vipaws. Let's get started. If you are new to our channel then please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get more updated videos. And if you are already a subscriber to our channel then thank you so much for subscribing. Pusher serves as a hosted API service that simplifies the process of integrating real-time data and functionality into web and mobile applications. By functioning as a real-time communication layer between the server and the client, Pusher enables a seamless experience for users. First of all, we have to go to the Vipaws admin panel, then go to Push Setting. Here we have to enable the switch. After enabling, we have to give the app ID key, secret, and cluster information from the Pusher website. On the right side, we can see a small documentation about how to get those informations. So we can follow the documentation step by step, otherwise see this video until the end. First, we have to go Pusher.com. On this website, if you are a user already, then click on sign in, otherwise click on sign up. As I am a user of Pusher, so I click on sign in. After signing in, we get a channel option. Here we see an app named Vipaws. If you are new here, then you have to create an app, so click on the Manage button and then click on Create App. As we are created an app before, so go back to the previous page and click on Vipaws app. Now on the left menu, we see the App Keys menu. Click here. Here we will get all required information for enabling the pusher. Simply, copy those one by one and paste it to the Vipaws Pusher settings. Then click on Save button. After saving, the Pusher will work internally. That concludes our overview of the Pusher setting of Vipaws. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more updated videos.